Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. In the upper left hand corner, we've got DeWalt, bottom left hand corner, we got Bonneth. This is Fighting Spirit Mania Grand Finals. We got the third of seven in the lower bracket final. So if Bonneth wins this ser this best of seven of best of sevens, he's the champion. If DeWalt can fi fight back, we go to another best of seven of best of sevens. And thus far, it looks like DeWalt is going to take the lead in the set score overall, if he can win this match. We'll have to see. And the games have been pretty entertaining thus far, I have to say. Last match, we had the first mid-map two gate from Bonneth. And honestly, I'm wondering if he... I'm wondering if there's a different scenario where he... Because he actually was ahead in workers. If he could have gotten a pylon instead of a zealot out at a certain timing, if he would have had more zealots... I thought he had more zealots mid-map in general to be able to hold potentially. And then if he got that cybernetic score down, I don't know. Point being, briefly in that previous match, Bonneth was ahead economically, but he still had the, the vulnerability of having those gateways just exposed out mid-map. In the meantime, it looks like we do have a gateway down for Bonneth. With the positioning, this is close to the ramp. And provide a bit of... I kind of like this positioning, actually. And he's going to go ahead and move a scout out initially. We have a gateway down for DeWalt. But looks like he is going to go ahead and tack on gas behind it. Same thing, opposite side here from Bonneth. Bonneth going for... So this is going to give a bit of an economic lead to DeWalt in the smallest margins that he's maintaining a worker. I know that some players... What they will do, even on four-player maps, is, is they will go ahead and utilize uh, Dragoons and Zealots to scout and play the match from there. But with the threat of the two-gate mid-map, kind of shifts that equation a bit. Seven at score being constructed on both ends. Mirror match thus far. And with that cross-map scout, so Bonneth knows, I think he's got to presume, okay, now I found my opponent uh, upper left. DeWalt's still going to have to do some searching once he makes his way bottom right. And unfortunately, with that turnaround cross scout, he's not going to really have a strong inclination as far as what direction to go. But I do think that's kind of intelligent of DeWalt after last match, the mind game, to go ahead and build proper position. The Zealot, not in time to stop the probe. So the Zealot going to, where we do have the Zealot in time on the opposite edge. And DeWalt is making his way to the north. So he might be able to swing that probe around to confirm a natural expansion, but he's not going to be able to get interior to the base to detect any sort of tech shift or a lack of range from Bonneth. But we know that that range has been started. And are we going to see a second gateway here? Got a couple idle probes for Bonneth. Second gateway on its way. Dragoon ushering out Bonus initial probe is at least able to confirm the third pylon. Didn't get much of a read on the build otherwise, or maybe more of a read than the rest of us just because of his just because of how gigantic his brain is. It's amazing that he can sit upright at any given time. Well, gonna go ahead and pull the probe back and move the dragoon forward. There is one dragoon mid-map. So this might be it's a trap. It might be able to move in and get a, a crunch attack here, which would be hilarious. I like this. So the Dragoon's taking a, a attack of damage. This could be a, an early Dragoon kill, and that actually might cost DeWalt the match. We'll see. So the Dragoon exiting now. Oh, a little bit of a stutter misfire. Able to get in some base damage here. Keep in mind, Dragoons have equalized movement speed. DeWalt moving a second Dragoon and Zealot across, trying to group up. But yeah, a lot of damage done on this initial Dragoon, and I'm wondering if that's going to give Bonus some ideas, potentially. At this level, every little bit count, especially in a mirror matchup like this. So we got two gateways up. We got a three gate, however, from DeWalt. So it looked like one gate Robo into three gate. Range finished on both ends. It looks like it is going to be observatory, which is typical off the three gate. And unfortunately, well, we'll see how this works out for Bonnet. They think there's still a timing in here. Where against that damaged Dragoon off the two-gate production, he's going to have more units just out on the ground. So if you deduct the three workers here, DeWalt's going to have to utilize and hold the high ground to survive. But if he can hold that high ground 
and if Bonneth overcommits, this is going to turn into an advantage his direction. So three gates are now up. He's got to wait a cycle here and hold the ramp. The focus firing, able to get one Dragoon down. So now it was four versus three. A Zealot might be lost as well. And DeWalt can just free attack now all the way to the nat uh, all the way to his natural because he's got the three gateways and a bit... Well, actually, never mind. He's got to wait a single cycle here. I eye out to Twitch land. He's waiting for the additional Dragoons to come up, but he's going to have a Rude Awakening as he's moving up to a 7-5 situation, potentially. And DeWalt, is, even though he's at inferior numbers, is happy to stand and engage here. Well, maybe not. That was not the best exchange. But now it's three gate and he's just got superior production. Could be trouble for Bonneth. So Bonneth, did he get a robotic support bay down? He doesn't have an observatory or support bay. Went shuttle first in the meantime. And you better bet DeWalt's just going to apply pressure the opposite direction. Let's see if the rally point... Never mind. He's going to go three gate into expansion. That was unexpected. He knows more than I do in this scenario, though. He's up a zealot here, pressing towards that natural expansion. Maybe he didn't feel like he had enough of the Dragoon lead to, to fold it over. The Observer confirms the lack of natural expansion. It's going to be able to walk in and confirm that it is, in fact, going to be Reaver first with the two-gate otherwise. So natural expansion up for DeWalt. Bonneth making his way back with the Dragoons to force them back. DeWalt can re-engage. DeWalt's still holding and fighting. Still, has, again, has that production lead. Two versus two with the Zed alongside. Nice micro from Bonneth, but now it is four versus... Sorry, three versus two after that last kill. Which, again, is going to send Bonneth outside. Actually, he's going to end up breached here? It's going to be two Dragoons versus three and a Zealot. With the Reaver shortly out. Okay, Reaver's out there. That should be an easy takedown... Uh, an easy move out. Especially with the shuttle. Yeah, walking his way down. One Dragoon down. Shot landed. Zealot doing what it can, but that's going to be it for any sort of pressure at the natural expansion. This is going to be a much later natural, though. And DeWalt continues to move the Dragoons up to the forward position to potentially harass this. He's going to be able to see the units as they're produced. Needs to make his way out, just in case it was an observer as far as follow-up. But in the meantime, the more time this stands, well, we'll see. We got a Robo and some other units on the opposite corner, but DeWalt does need to get some additional production out here. He has his own robotics facility up. He's got the natural expansion up, but doesn't quite... Well, he does have the production lead because it's just two gate comparatively, but we got three Reaver, so ignore me on that. Three Dreger, Reaver, four Dragoon. DeWalt's pocketed some Dragoons at the nine o'clock and is using his observer, seeing the move out timing to go ahead and attack underneath. Is he going to be able to hold the natural in the midst of this with his Reaver though? Is the question, and is Bonneth going to bite and retreat if it turns into a base race scenario? This is turn. This is nutty. I think Dewalt feels like he's got the advantage in a base race because he's got more base to try to defend. So Reaver's on the high ground. The Dragoon's now in there. This is a manor pylon. Or sorry, sorry, an Artosis pylon right here. Two Reavers on the low ground. And that shield battery, brilliant shield battery from Dewalt, negating that shuttle advantage. So the pylon's now getting worked on, and that's going to be it. And DeWalt, with that sneak, is going to take it. Brilliant strategic play from DeWalt. The Observer providing a huge advantage there. And DeWalt, with that, takes a convincing set. And now the set score goes up 2-1 to one in DeWalt's favor. And honestly, it feels like the momentum has entirely moved to DeWalt's favor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Crazy one there. Thank you for listening.